Hi there. One of the key causes of market failure is the presence of externalities. But what are externalities? Externalities are a key cause of market failure and pretty much we experience them in every single market. The best definition I think of an externality is that it is a spillover effect either from production or consumption of goods and services for which no appropriate compensation is paid or received. The key point is that externality effects lie outside the initial market transaction. They lie outside of the market. In other words, they affect people not directly involved in the production and or consumption of a good or service. For that reason, they're also known as spillover effects. Now, most economic activity creates spillover benefits and spillover costs. So, for example, negative externalities create some spillover costs. Positive externalities create spillover benefits. Market failure happens if the price mechanism does not take into account the social cost and the social benefits of production and consumption. So that's the essence of an externality. Let's make a distinction here between private cost and external cost, which leads on to the idea of social cost. So private cost, otherwise known as internal cost. These are the costs faced by the producer or the consumer directly involved in a particular market transaction. Private benefit is the benefit to a producer, for example revenue, or the benefit to a consumer, for example utility or satisfaction, from those people directly involved in an economic transaction. Now in the world of no externalities, all we would focus on would be private costs and private benefits. But the existence of externalities creates a difference or a divergence between private and social cost and private and social benefit. Social cost equals the private cost plus external cost. Social benefit equals the private benefit plus the external benefit. So in the case of negative externalities, the social cost is greater than the private cost. And this can lead to overproduction and market failure. When positive externalities exist, the social benefit will be greater than the private benefit. But again, unless the market adjusts to this, we get market failure. Now here's a key summary of private and social costs. We're going to be using the word marginal in this slide. Marginal just means the next, the next. So the next unit you consume, the next pizza you buy. Uh, from a producer point of view, the next ton of cement that's produced or the next barrel of oil that is extracted from the ground. Marginal just means the next unit. So, marginal private cost is the cost to the producing supplier of supplying an extra unit of production. The marginal external cost is the cost to a third party from an additional unit of production. The marginal social cost is the cost to society of the extra unit. And the simple formula for working out marginal social cost is that MSC equals the marginal private cost plus the marginal external cost. Now what about benefits? Marginal private benefit is the benefit to the consumer of consuming the next item of a product. Marginal external benefit, however, is the external or the positive spillover benefit from the consumption of that unit. And marginal social benefit, MSB for short, is the total benefit to society from consuming an extra unit. How do we work out the marginal social benefit? It equals the marginal private benefit plus the marginal external benefit. In other words, the third party spillover benefit. Take a moment if you need to for your revision notes just to write down these key definitions. Press the pause button. We'll, go, we'll pass on, but we'll see you in a few seconds. Here's a quick example of the difference between private and social cost and benefit. Let's take uh, wind farms, many wind farms being created in the UK. It's an interesting and sometimes a controversial environmental issue. So the private cost of a wind farm would be the cost to the wind farm company themselves, including the cost of buying the land and the cost involved in acquiring planning permission. 
we would include the cost of the manufacturing of the wind turbines and their installation and maintenance and the cost to the firm of employing labour on site. External costs might include, for some people, uh, the negative effect of visual pollution of, of living close to a wind farm. There might also be some congestion externalities involved in the manufacturing and the establishment of the wind farm itself. And who knows, possibly property prices might fall if you live close to a wind farm, although some might argue that they would go up. So there's a difference there between private and external cost. The private benefits, well, <laughs> Well, the benefits of having wind farms include, for example, cheap electricity and uh, the impact on, on personal health from uh, a reduction in fossil fuels. And there are some wider external benefits. Wind farms might be a more, eventually a more cost efficient source of uh, renewable energy, emitting fewer harmful gases. The wind farm projects themselves create jobs which can have local multiplier effects. The technology used in harnessing wind farms might be exported overseas. And ultimately, if wind farms become efficient, for example, from economies of scale, then ultimately in the long run, the taxpayer may not necessarily have to provide as much subsidy. Indeed, wind farms could become a net positive contributor to GDP and the trade balance. Now, there are many aspects here about how we measure these things, which of these externalities are most significant at a local, regional or even national level. There are some aspects of externalities that we can't measure accurately and also which don't necessarily have a market price. The key point from this little topic video, I think, is that in any, in any issue, there are likely to be private costs and benefits and external costs and benefits. So we almost have to do a cost-benefit analysis when we look at a particular issue. So this has been an introductory topic video asking a simple question, what are externalities? Check out some more topic videos on the YouTube side if you want to understand more about market failure. Thanks for joining in.